Hello everybody, this is Delta, and we're back in Bad End. I don't think we're that far off from finishing the game now. I think it's only around like an hour or two long. Anyway, let's carry on, continue. I made up my mind to continue playing. Of course, there is still the fear of dying. I don't intend to quit now. After all, it's only natural to want to find out what killed my best friend. Maybe there's some sort of invisible force that's beckoning me in to play this deadly game. Oh, I wonder. But I decide to chance it and push forward. Which choice should I make? Left, right, or straight forward? Um, do I actually get to choose? I do. Okay. To the right, to the left, and straight. Okay. I'm going to choose right, because right is always right. That's how I usually do it. I took a right. Kana, hurry up! I shouted without looking back. Isn't there a main street, then? A main street? Oh, it's this place. Did we make it? We made it to the main plaza. Ha! 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 When I turn around, the weird shadow was nowhere in sight. That's a relief. Perhaps a shadow can't come where there are many people gathered in one place. What was that thing? Don't ask me. Anyway, let's just get out of here. I'm heading home. Call me later, okay? Right. I'll see you later. Well, technically talk to you later. Because you're talking on the phone or texting, I don't know. I went home quickly when I parted with Kana. I thought that the shadow would most likely catch up to me. Fortunately, that didn't happen. So if I chose one of the other options, well, I've got a bad end. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? I don't know. <sighs> I stashed the cosmetics away that I bought at the convenience store and lied down in bed. I'm in no mood to do makeup right now. <sighs> My body is still shaking from the whole ordeal. Who or what was that? Why were they chasing after us? I don't understand it at all. What would be the reason why someone would want to attack a common everyday girl like me? Oh, wait. I am gorgeous, after all, and men stop and stare at me as I pass by. Could it be the soul or spirit of a pervert out to get me? Pfft, no way. Wow. She really thinks highly of herself, doesn't she? <laughs> There's nothing I can do dwelling on it. It can't be helped. I decide to go to bed early. Sleep will take my mind off everything that happened. But I can't help but wonder, what was it? What if I'm attacked by that thing again tomorrow? What if it attacks you while you're asleep? Ever thought of that? No? Okay. Well, it seems like that was the correct choice. I felt relieved and decided to save and quit for the day. The game's story is a your typical cliché horror plot. Kyoko Iwazaki, the main character, is in a strange area at night. She's a clueless girl that apparently gets a bad end if you pick the wrong choices. So, what really lies ahead? Based on what I've played, it's hard to predict what happens next. And yet, Kyoko may have some character traits I find unappealing. Oh dear. It seems as though she messes around with guys in an equal measure. But, what about her secret desires? Hmm... That's not really important. I got past the first choice and still able to proceed. But how long will I have to keep making these choices? Just thinking about it makes me depressed. Oh, Boo-hoo. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Come yeah, on. While I'm at school, I try keeping busy to take my mind off bad end. At least, I thought I could. You know how they said Ogata died, right? It seems that it was the result of a game called Bad End. I overheard the conversation. Outside the classroom, people were talking about it as well. Q-Hey! <laughs> That's the result of opening your mouth on the whole mess. Now there's another rumor spreading across the campus. Um, sorry. Once one person hears it and passes it along, it won't stop. He's right. It's probably already spread like wildfire throughout the entire school. That's absurd. Wait, who's it, who's it talking now? Oh yeah. That's absurd. There's no way you can die from a video game. 
Are you gonna end up playing the game and die too? The rumor is probably known by everyone now. Well, it can't be helped. It's our duty to dispel any said rumor. I understand. Bad End is still installed in my mobile phone. How will the class president react if I mention it? Should we tell him? Or don't tell him? Eh. I choose tell him. Konami, come over here for a second. I have something to show you. Why? What's this about? I got Konami to follow me into the corner of the classroom so I could talk to him in private. What would you think if I told you I have the game Bad End installed on my phone? What did you say? Stop messing around. It's like a visual novel that lets you make choices. If I can clear this game, I think I can find out the reason behind Yuji's death. Listen to what you're saying. There's no way I'll believe that a person can die from playing a stupid video game. Let me give you some advice. I advise you to stop playing. Although, I don't buy into this crap. It's not worth taking the risk of losing anyone else. Hmm, he is right. Konami is always level-headed. This is just his way of showing he cares, and I understand where he's coming from. Dun 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 dun. After school, I came straight home and took out my mobile phone. The tell screen of Bad End appears upon flipping the phone open. A small road icon is displayed awaiting to continue the game. Although I haven't even played yet, I feel exhausted. My heartbeat starts to climb with anticipation. Just take a deep breath. Whew. Calm down, Kyuhei. I take a deep breath and it helps ease the tension. I have to remain calm. I tap the icon and select my last save state to continue where I had left off. Okay then. A game within a game. Yes. Right, here we go. I woke up, still depressed. Yay. Needless to say, I'm still worried about what that was all about yesterday. <sighs> it definitely wasn't just a dream. Kana and I were definitely attacked by something. Or someone. <laughs> What would have happened to us if we were caught? You'd die? Probably. I'm guessing. I didn't even want to imagine it. We might have been killed. <sighs> Although I didn't feel like going to school, I'd end up being more depressed sitting around the house doing nothing. So I decided the best thing to do is go tough it out and keep my chin up. I probably won't be attacked in broad daylight, much less at school with all the people present. Hopefully. We'll see, won't we? I rave at the school gate and joined up with Kana. Good morning. Good morning. Do you remember what happened last night? You mean that cursed shadow? I don't know what else to call it. So you do remember it. What do you think it was? I haven't the slightest idea, but it scared the hell out of me. Too weird. Okay. Enough with that subject, let's go on and head to class. Yes, you're right, let's go. Okay then. Easy. Class time. The rest of the school day went as expected, without incident. Except it's hiding in the shadows right behind you. The strange shadow didn't show itself at school, just as I had predicted. Its weakness is probably being out in the light. We've probably been safe during the daytime. Okay. Hey! What? Kana speaks in a low voice, almost like she doesn't want others to hear. It's been bugging me all day. It's about the you-know-what we saw yesterday. We have to do something. I can't go through that again. I agree. But what else should we do? Well, I was thinking maybe an exorcism. What? An exorcism? Are you serious? I imagined one of those stupid psychic shows that come on TV. Are they expensive? I don't have a lot of money right now. Actually, I think we can manage. There's a priest at Tensayu Shrine, if I said that right. That seems very generous. The Tensayu Shrine? 
right next to our neighborhood? Yeah, it seems that he specializes in this sort of thing. Really? He'd probably cut us a deal. Who knows? Maybe give us a student discount. It's worth a try at least. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. A student discount for something like that. <laughs> okay. Tensaya is the largest shrine in the area with an extensive history. I visit only once a year. I didn't know they performed exorcisms. Probably because you never asked. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Let me go talk to the priest. Okay, I'll be right here. Okay. Kana seems to know this place fairly well, so I trust she knows what she's doing. Not long after, the Shinto priest comes out dressed in an elegant... Uh, hack... Ama? Hack Ama? Maybe? Okay, what voice do I give a priest? Um, is it an old guy? I heard that you were troubled. If you want, I will do everything in my power to help you. Yes, th thank you so much for helping us. Then Kana reappeared with a beaming smile. He's not going to charge us. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I made an exception for you two. No charge. Shinto Priest gives a hearty laugh. Well, there's not much else we can do about our predicament. We'll just have to put our faith into the priest. When did you want to go? I hope we can do it as soon as possible. Then let's do it tonight. I'll go with you, of course. Sounds good. So, tonight it is. I'll be ready. Okay then. This will be interesting. Where are we now? We left Tensuyu's shrine and dropped in at a local family restaurant. The uniforms that the waitresses wear is so neat. I want one too. Yeah, you're right. This place is pretty popular with the locals. They're famous for their stylish uniform that they wear while working. This restaurant is one of a kind. There aren't any uh, franchise chains or locations anywhere else in Japan. So it makes it for a very popular tourist attraction. And my phone is now buzzing. Yay. What can I get you? What can I get for you? I'll have the special ultra treat, please. I'll take the Ishtar original cheesecake. Sounds good. I can read your face. You're wondering what's so special about this treat, huh? Can I try a bite? Anyway, I had never experienced anything like that. The exorcism, I mean. You haven't done it yet. Do you think it worked? I can't help but worry. Well, it's better than doing nothing, right? Don't worry so much about it. You're right. Before long, the waitress brings us our orders. Wow! This is really good. Definitely worthy of the ultra treat. Yeah, the cheesecake tastes great too. It would probably have tasted better if it wasn't weighed down with worry. Okay then. Great way of describing it. Weighed down with worry. Delicious. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Delifer. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.